Matthew McConaughey's new film, Sea of Trees, flopped at Cannes, and it was booed. But this wasn't the first time that, fil that a film was booed at, at Cannes, and we'll talk about that list, because it's, it's rather popular yeah. for certain films to have that type of reception at Cannes. And this is how Matthew McConaughey responded when asked about, you know, how he felt when his film was booed. He says, <laughs> this is too good. This is so good. He says, quote, all right, all right, all right. Swear to God. Um, he didn't say the swear to God part. Okay. He says, all right, all right, all right. Anyone has as much right to boo as they do to ovate. Good for him. I yeah. love that. Um, and then we're going to go down the list, too, of all the other films in the past that have been booed at Cannes. But first thoughts, five words or less. McConaughey haters gonna hate. <laughs> Dallas Booles Club. Yes. <laughs> what is this? Princess Bride? Boo! I can't believe, I personally can't imagine going to a screening or going to a premiere and having uh, the audience boo. Yeah. To me, that just seems disrespectful. Yeah. I don't know, am I being too sensitive here? Well, it's an audience of critics. Yes, first. exactly. And the can critics are notorious for booing, uh, whether it's good or not. Because oh. there, I've, I was reading stories, I was looking up this, this up, where if no one boos and there's cheers, other people will just start booing. Yeah. So I, that you have a little bit of a balance. That's so I don't crazy. think it really means that give, much. I was saying booers. I'll give you guys a little inside scoop into it. So when you go to the, I go to all the early screens for movies now from writing movie reviews, and though I was sitting next to critics, and they'll laugh at part, like parts of the movie that aren't funny just to laugh at the movie because what? it's like, oh my God, that's just disgraceful. Like, are the actors laugh. there? No, like, not as much the actors, but it's just the critics that are there. So it's the same vibe as you said about yeah. the festivals because they're there to, to look at the movie in depth and think about cr critiquing it. And more people just want to get their voice heard and just be like, oh, this is so bad. I'm just going to laugh at it. I wouldn't do that personally because... I'm not in the movie, so how, how can I laugh at it? Yeah. I'm there to critique it as a point as maybe a fan and how they would view it. So yeah. I don't agree with that. Have you guys ever been booed? Luckily, yeah, no. I have yeah. <laughs> you have not? I mean, I played, I played professional soccer for a couple of years, yeah. so I got booed quite a lot. You yeah, but the, op the opposition fans, like? it's awful. The opposition fans hate, like, no matter who you are, you could be good or whatever you did was, was fine, but they will just boo you for the sake of being booed. It's a weird feeling. But I, I like being the villain, so I was okay. kind of like, all right. Uh, you used to like this fuel. Because yeah. when I go to certain sporting events and I see them booing a player, that always makes me sad. I, always <laughs> I think so they kind of love it, though. Oh, like, don't I you hope think? so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's talk about some of these movies. So Pulp Fiction was booed, you yeah. guys, oh, crazy. Yeah. Although it had a lot of celebrating, too. So it was a mixed, a mixed bag as far as the crowd. Uh, Twin Peaks, Fire Walk With Me, Antichrist, Crash. Crash won the Oscar. I know, <laughs> crazy, but it was booed at Cannes. Taxi Driver, negative. Very negative response at Cannes. I did. You talking to me? I can't but believe that. We know how successful Taxi Driver was in all of their uh, four Academy Award nominations. Yeah. Also, Marie Antoinette, uh, Only God Forgives, Taking Woodstock, Wild at Heart, Inglorious Bastards. They didn't like the idea of how Inglorious Bastards uh, depicted World War II, the yeah. revisionist approach. And then the Brown Bunny. And the Brown Bunny, do you guys remember the Brown Bunny? No. Oh, the Brown Bunny. You remember the Brown Bunny because at the end of the Brown Bunny, uh, the director, Vincent Gallo, gets head by his wife at the time. They might still be married. I'm not sure. Chloe Sevigny. And a lot of people just completely obliterated that movie. I watched it. I thought it was sh I watched it so I could see the ending. Yeah. Right, okay. <laughs> but it, it got such a good negative reaction at Cannes that, act, that Vincent Gallo said at the end of it, it was never my intention to make a pretentious film, a self-indulgent film, a useless film, an unengaging film, and I will never make another film again. And did he? I don't know. Did he? <laughs> that's a good, good question. I know. I want to see that movie. I know. Because now it's 2015. Mm, yeah. So can you just imagine what's in that one? Yeah. yeah. And it's the, the audience there, not only as critics, but like these movies, the movies, as you just mentioned, in Glorious Bastards, they, they have to be so historically correct as well because there's historians there and people just love to critique things. You won't go yeah. to a thing like this and people just love to moan and complain. So that's why I would take it with a pinch of salt. You just mentioned so many movies there that have done so well critically after these festivals. So, I mean, it's, it's in the opposite effect. I went to a movie, I went to see Paul Blart, Mall Cop, and it was awful. It was so bad. <laughs> and guys were laughing at it, but it still pulled in a not a bad amount of money in the blockbusters. So. Right. This movie is supposed to be very bad, though. Really? Yeah. yeah. Matthew McConaughey supposedly was talking about making the film and said, you know, sometimes I was on set and I was saying, what am I doing here? Yeah. Oh. So I don't really think it's supposed to be very good. <laughs> yeah. So they might not be that often. Yeah, but he's had a really good good streak. He's had a great run. So yeah. You're, you're, you're doing Oscar. good. What are they okay. calling it? They're calling it the McConaughey's yeah. right yes. now? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh. Awesome okay, work. you guys. Yep. So please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, make sure that you like us on Facebook at Pop Trigger and follow us on Twitter at Pop Trigger. We'll see you guys next time.